Good day everyone. Did you know that there is 360 million Christians around the world that face serious persecution and discrimination? Of these 360, there are 15 Christians being killed for their faith every day. 10 are being abducted into human slavery. This is still the reality in many countries around the world. Discrimination on the basis of faith alone. And so we find different forms of this happening in the world today. We have examples of executions in North Africa. You will all remember this was even in the news. We have young girls being abducted, Christian girls in Southeast Asia. We have unemployment discrimination where you have to show in your ID whether you're Christian or not and you don't get a job if you are Christian. This is the kind of resistance and oppression that Christians face in many countries, maybe not in your area, but in many countries around the world. One in seven Christians are facing these kind of hardships every day. Today I want to call you to join us for a special week of day and night prayer where we will focus on these issues. Praying for justice for these family members of ours. Will you join me as we pray from the 13th till the 19th of November for the suffering church in the world? The theme Dying Daily is our theme where we will focus on the different nations suffering under these oppressions and the different communities, the different types of suffering that they go through. And we will very focusedly pray for these things for the Lord to come and use this, this suffering for His glory. And so the key verse that we look at is in Romans 8, verse 35 to 36, where we read, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Still tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword. These are the things typically speak of what we still see today for the last 2000 years. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. And I want to ask you to consider a few things, practical things. Number one, if you consider when you pray and give thanks to God for your food, if you will not add the daily pointer and focus for the suffering church in your prayer. Very short, just one line that say, Lord Jesus, we remind you of the suffering church today. Please take care of them. Secondly, I want to ask you to activate your 24-7 prayer. Praying daily, praying every hour of the day for the whole week and having your people maybe have corporate hours of prayer, agreeing together for the different things that we pray for. And then thirdly, to perhaps consider in your church or wherever to have a corporate hour of prayer. Or when you have a prayer meeting, consider taking 10 minutes just praying and focusing on the suffering church. And let me encourage you with this last verse in Romans 8, verse 18. It says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. This is the glory that Jesus will get for every suffering Christian. And won't you agree with me at this time as we trust the Lord to increase His kingdom through the suffering of His saints. May the Lord bless you.